Greetings, dear suckers. My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peed. And welcome back to the witch's house. Last time, we walked on poison, which is apparently something that can kill you if you don't have the right shoes, which we no longer have, because that's apparently how poison works. Also, we gave drugs to a person. Anyways. Let's continue. Hello. You ain't slick. Don't think I- don't think you're slick. Clock hangs high on the wall. This window. Eye drops. Eye drops. <laughs> Are there a bunch of eyes that are gonna drop on me? Just for the pun. Sleeping pills slash sedatives. Tornic. Some of these are etched off. I can kind of guess what that's supposed to say. Head medicine. Some of those are etched off. Headache medicine. Gee, I wonder what that one says then. Gee, I wonder what that says. Degree burn oi ent. Okay then. Bandages and antiseptic solution. Nausea. Some of their own stuff. Oh yes, nausea in a bottle. If I could save nausea in a bottle. Bottles filled with bones of some sort. Bottles filled with some sort of meat. Antiseptic solution. Throat medicine. Okay. There's a small bottle on the shelf. Alright. Got a cute little bottle. Okay. <laughs> That's an odd way of describing it, but alright. Medicine that kills the witch's roses. Smells sweet. Alright. Oh. Okay then. A doll head lays on the ground. Lies, actually, I think. Go ahead, yeah. Oh, hi! The eyes have it, evidently. Oh, and the cat's gone. There's some fur left on the stuff. Naturally. Okay, then. I guess we... Go back? Oh! Okay. Sure, why not? Oh, that's pleasant. That's real fucking pleasant. Guess we can f finally see what's through this door now. My purple fluid washes down. It does no harm. Is that even purple? That's more... Uh, more like really light blue to my eyes. Oh! Headless doll! Okay. Come on. Die, you bastards. Come on. Come on. Why are some- there we go. Okay. Combine with body, I guess. Got it all. Yay. I don't understand how crushing these bugs works. It's so inconsistent. Wait. I see. I see. I see now. But first, let's see. Has anything changed? Yeah, the yellow flower lies in cut up pieces. The fuck is that sound? <laughs> oh! You know. Yeah, that might as well be a thing that exists. Let's touch it. Why not? The clock is munching on a flower. No shit! Ha! 
You ain't slick. Don't think you're slick. Cause you ain't. Oh, mother abandoned me. Father didn't notice me. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> you fucking... You built these nooses and you hung grass. Oh, we have fun here. Sometimes it's hard to tell whether this is supposed to be a horror game or a comedy. Oh well. Anyways. Time to go back. Place the doll on the pedestal. Ha! Huh. Alright then. There's a hole. Imagine that. Really? Sure, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Come to my room. <laughs> I'm being invited back to the witch's room, I see. How, uh... Interesting. The corpse of a black cat. It's dead. I don't know if that means that the demon is dead, or if it's just lost its physical form. But, either way, perhaps this means that the demon was at odds with the witch this whole time, and the witch killed it for helping me. Or maybe not. Maybe now that I'm here... The witch saw no further need for it. Or perhaps it simply wore that body out. I don't know. I am a little sad to see it gone. Nah. Right. Base of roses. Not artificial ones, just roses. The mirror is fogged up and shows nothing. Artificial roses. Huh. Witch's Diary. My sickness is going to kill me. So, I decided. I'll take her body. I'll live on in her body. That's fine, right? Because we're friends. Sure, why not? She'll give me her body. Because we're friends. Yeah, what are what else is our friends for? After all, even today, you came to play with me. Right, Viola? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Well. See ya, sucker. Have fun being legless and horribly ill and probably dying because we are just too fucking pro for you. Oh, you won't catch me, yo slithery D. You may catch all the others, but you won't catch me. Got Ellen's knife. And juked, motherfucker. And sayonara, sucker. At long last, we have escaped. The witch's house. Too bad about the cat, but oh well.
the missing first half of the letter. Dear Viola, I'm sorry for yelling at you yesterday. There's an old legend that says a witch lives in the forest and kidnaps children who get lost in there. Your friend's house is very near the forest, so I was worried about you. Oh, psh. You were foolish to worry. We're just too fucking pro to ever wor ever be in danger. Your friend's name was Ellen, right? Well... I don't mind if you go out to play, but just stay away from the forest. Hope to see you home soon. Dad. Alright then. Well, that's that then. <sighs> Time to go. Cute little bottle. And they're gone. I kind of expected to see them wither or something, but no. Oh. It's raining again. Time to go. After all that, we're back where we were the, in the first episode. After, after probably a longer amount of time than we waited before. Funny that. But hey, now we got a knife. A small one. So. You just don't give up, do you? Boy, you're stubborn. <laughs> wow. Stone fucking cold. Ain't ya? No hesitation, just stab. How long are you going to chase me? You know that body won't last long. Well, then that's how long. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Give it back? No way. This body hurts much less. You gave it to me in the first place. Why should I have to give it back? Right. Viola? You felt so sorry for me. I couldn't even move from my bed. That's why I used my magic to trade bodies with you. Just for a day? Hehe. <laughs> I guess I did say that. I was surprised you could trap me with my own power, but to no avail. After all, it's my house, yes? You wouldn't be killing me anytime soon. I was guided by that house all the way, though I was ensured to escape. Still not dead? I have to applaud your tenacity. <laughs> Indeed. Ah, could it be? Are you that worried about your father? Oh, I know. You and your father, Viola, a close family of two. Those memories stayed in your body. He's a kind man. Hunter, isn't he? He even sent you that letter. What a good father. Hey, how does that make sense? So then, I suppose you're worried about what'll happen when you're gone. It'll be just fine. I'll give him Viola's share of love. 
and I'll take her share of love too. So, Viola? Viola, are you safe? Are you hurt anywhere? What? Why? Fa. Fa. Ah. Stay away, monster! Monster? Well, that's rude. She's just a poor. She just looks like a horribly injured person. Fucking hell. You see a woman. Dr a horribly injured woman dragging her way across the forest, her entrails dragging behind her, and you shoot her dead. That's a bit naff, isn't it? But I guess, well. <laughs> and so ends the tale of the witch's house. Once again. Oh? Hello. And goodbye. And all secret, all secrets revealed, or at least most of them. All the pieces put together. The reason why... I mean, some of it still doesn't quite make sense. I guess I'm still not quite certain why Viola protected me that one time. I mean, I know that- I guess she wants the body intact, but if that's the case, then why is she using the whole- the house to try and kill me in the first place? I don't know, that doesn't quite make sense to me. It doesn't quite square, but... But never mind that. Now I see the reason why Viola was able to remain so stoic the whole time, that nothing fazed her. She was a witch, after all. When you regularly deal with demons, when you've seen hell itself, nothing scares you. Certainly not your own damn house. Your own damn power. And so, Ellen, the witch, got away with it all. All of it. She bartered for the body of another... of a girl, a viola, under false pretenses. Telling the truth about the spell itself, of course. What it was intended to do. Because otherwise, well, it never would have worked. But lying, of course, about everything else. And that's how she deceived. What a fool that viola was. Isn't that right? To consent to swapping bodies for just a day with someone so in pain, so miserable, so on the verge of death, thinking that she would ever willingly swap back. What a grand and intoxicating innocent. To think I've been praising Viola this whole time for being such a stone-cold badass in the face of all this, but Viola, the true Viola, well, she really was a foolish little girl, wasn't she? Venturing off into these mysterious woods, venturing into this mysterious house, befriending a mysterious witch, that is bold action. That is something truly special. To brave such a dangerous place and to make friends with the most dangerous creature within it? Now that's badass. And it's something that could have paid great dividends. 
to befriend a witch, especially a dying one. For it, for such a creature would have, would have much lore to give you, of magic and other things. Such a creature might be most desirous of an heir to pass all of that lore onto, all that lore that would otherwise pass from the world with the witch, which would be a terrible crime against the common endeavor. And simply a waste besides. But to trust such a creature? To trust it so implicitly that you would think that it would willingly go to its death just so that you would not? That crosses the line from bravery to just stupidity. So Viola's own father, a hunter, saw her return to him, she didn't realize the truth, and so, in his foolishness, his haste, his jumping to conclusions, he killed her, his own daughter. Isn't that a funny story? Right? A decoy, a little spider, a little butterfly trapped in a web. But along comes a decoy of another color to take its place. And the butterfly flies free. Isn't that a funny story? Well, maybe you had to be there. And thus ends the witch's house. Man, I did my best to, you know, do shorter episodes and, and all that to favor it a bit longer and all that, but it was still over so soon. It was a pretty neat game. I mean, not gonna, I'm not gonna say it was, it's the greatest game I've ever played. The story has... I still don't understand some certain parts of the story, to be honest. And the gameplay was a bit naff at times. But... I, it just... Just like Ebe, it holds a special place in my heart. Maybe not quite as much as Ebe, but... Well... It's a game from what I consider to be the golden age of YouTube. And a damn fine one at that. I didn't, I didn't find it particularly scary, I admit, for a horror game and all that, but then again... Well... I don't really get scared by these horror games and such. I don't really get scared in general. Maybe that's why I've never had a nightmare. With this over, um, I'm not really certain what what next I'm gonna do. Maybe I'm I, I'm definitely gonna continue the the nostalgia train here, so to speak. But what specifically? I'm not certain. Maybe Madfather? Maybe maybe go a bit uh, further forward and and out of the horror genre and play to the moon, maybe. Might hold off on that a bit longer. Regardless, this story is over. I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you are for some reason subscribed, and leave an nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and sayonara, suckers.